Hello and welcome back, I am Oroporo and this is episode 7 of self combusting Freezing Santa we'll run in Caves of Good and we are still following down the river, down the, following the underground river and we just defeated that snap jaw boss sling thing and there was there were a bunch of enemies down here last time. Oh, a bunch of blood now. Uh huh. Copper nugget. I'll take that stuff. No. No. Uh huh. Lacquered. Weird artifact. Let's have a look at that. Well, let's examine this one first. Small sphere of negative weight. Woo! Cool. And leave it be. Uh, what are you? Freezing club. Cool. And replace cell. Remove cell. Examine and hope not to break it. Yep, combustion cell. Great stuff. If we'll see any oil around, we'll grab some and examine you as well. Lacquered flaming bronze mace. Mm hmm. That's not bad. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's all the all the artifacts we got at the moment that's not bad I would say so um, another pink one so he's not a whatever bite he's a different biter bitter beer bitter there was what was it eaters of, of something the last two Sua the nimble snapjob beer baiter and loved by snapjaws, disliked by frogs, disliked by the villagers of Tachapurr. Okay, so you're going to die. If only because you're trying to kill me. Five more turns, I can wait for that. There we go, shoot a bit more, he's still fine, but not for long, as you can see, little by little we're doing some damage, I don't know if I can reload, whoops, uh, I should be careful shooting these, I'm not going to shoot it at him at the moment, I think he slowed down, that's why he's blinking, he's like cold, no, 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 no. That's the wrong button. Let's beat him to death. In melee. There we go. Got some reputation. Frogs, m frogs might like us, maybe. Did you have anything on you? And nothing too spectacular. Whoa. You. Give me the uh, I took that automatically. It's fine, it's fine. The arrows. Um, let's grab that, let's grab that. And I think we can go through without much of uh, without much of problem with our current strength. It's not great, but it's twenty. So, um, I don't know, I don't know. What's the here? Bronze one? Bloody irons, short sword, okay, bloody. Uh, I am a, I have a equipped iron, short sword, alright. Uh, what was that? Oh, boom, rose arrow. Let's uh, unload that and load the regular one. We got two regular ones. We'll have to buy some more. 
Uh, we can go both ways, deeper and higher up. Uh, I did kind of want to go back. But back, I mean, back to Jopa. But... We could always get back here. I... I think, <laughs> if we survive, <coughs> if we remember. But uh, yeah, it seems like this is the end of the river uh, and the way... <coughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. Mm, the way up to Joppa should be through here. And just... I'm gonna... I'm just gonna search the last of these rooms. Oh yeah, and I remember I we had a problem with... problem. I don't know how technically the game calls each uh, square. I kind of call them quadrants, but they are called parasangs, I think. So one of these is a parasang. I think it's like a old measurement unit. And let's say if you find some ruins or like in the locations in here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Historical sites, merchants, ruins. Uh, let's have a uh, historical sites. You see 24 parasangs east and 3 parasangs north of Kiakuya. So that's the distance. Uh, how many screens we need to go? Uh, I'm not sure if it's different on the world map, there, or maybe Prasang is uh, a tile in the world map, not in the in here the screen. So uh, I said I learned it, and I'm not sure which one it refers to actually. So yeah, let's go first downstairs just to have a quick look. Ooh, you are... Oh, you're just further down the way. I'm gonna freeze you anyway. Okay, that was just a regular croc. I was scared and worried that it was uh, some sort of something different. <laughs> and... You are... An enemy? Why? Who are you? Scrap clad Hermes. Uh huh. Well, I'm gonna freeze you to death. And then kill you. And take your stuff. Here we go, I told you. We got the tube. No? Did he use the tube? Or am I blind and just cannot see it in my inventory? Uh, you're not a big problem, fam. Just like you... Are not a big problem. Well... By yourself, anyway. You... You... There's more of you. Be careful, be careful. Ooh, here we go, our first spontaneous combustion. And yes, I know it should be spontaneously combusting, freezing centaur. And, but, I don't know, I just called it uh, self-combusting. And, well, it's episode 7 now, and I don't feel like changing it. Pour it on myself, yes. And yeah, I've been using this name in six episodes, referring to this run as the self-combusting centaur. So we'll keep it. I got pretty badly injured from that guy. Wasn't expecting it. We went down, right? How come I uh, let you a uh, dangerous? Oh, you are mostly dangerous. This other guy. 
Oh, I'm bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. Oh, and I'm burning. Again, bleeding and burning. Ooh, no good, no good. Ooh. Let's sort this out. Pour some water. Yeah, all of the 18 ones. And am I still bleeding? Doesn't look like it. I'll collect some more water over here. These guys are hostile for whatever reason. But they are way trivial. So I'm just gonna ignore them. Aha. Uh -huh. While visiting an obscure yurt, Narexis II found an artifact that evoked the presence of a clear glass. He named it Glass Acus. Or something like that. Oh, grabs the fresh water, why not? We will need some. Especially after we probably got very thirsty after thirst spitters or whatever thirst things spit at us. Let's grab some more of this brackish water. In the empty one. Are you right? Right. Just so we have it. And yeah, we always... We will always need some water to put ourselves out. When we spontaneously combust and that's gonna be real great fun. It's been so far and it will probably be my death as well. So you just wait for that. Uh, hold on, I want to see if that's a fresh water. If it is, we'll just take it. No, don't think it is. Uh, let's go deeper and try not to die. Because last time I went deeper around here, I was killed like real fast. Holy moly, don't get enveloped, developed, enveloped. Well, engulfed by it. It's probably not engulfing. He's definitely fine, and I'm getting out of here. Uh, I'll see if he's following me. But I definitely will not step on those stairs again. No. I'll just go back to Jopa. Where we'll have some good time with my friend Tam. And uh, we will speak with the mayor as well. I don't think we will head towards Kuya Kuya yet. We still got a bunch of uh, exploring and leveling up to do uh, beside that. So we'll try not to get any infectious diseases till then, but well, you never know. In this game, you can just get some random stuff uh, I reckon like in most um, roguelikes that's pretty much the beauty of them RNG but pain in the ass as well sometimes let's take it all and uh, I see a couple of fires over there campfires but well, eat the meal. Good. Oof, I didn't burn. Just right away. Yeah, temperature is 22. Come on, spider. You're not that tough. Snap job. We'll go down here. And finish exploring the rest of this cave. There might be nothing in here though. 
We did find the treasure of some sorts already. No, this guy over here, please. There we go. And golden tunic. Leather keep. Nothing too exciting over here, I reckon. What you doing in here? Ooh, a uh, musket. I don't know if I need it. But I can disassemble it if nothing else are. Let's uh, dis <coughs> disassemble it. <coughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. Let's disassemble it. Uh, I know I could <coughs> get rid of a bunch of... Um, yeah. Ooh, I cannot disassemble yet, I think. I just know the parts. So let's get rid of the water. Salty or brackish. Uh, don't really care. Let's pour. Pour it on yourself. 32. Uh, 32. 32. 32. Should be. Uh, still not able. Okay, pour the rest of it out. No, 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 no. The, th the salty water, pour it on myself again, and let's see. Now, we're good. And... We don't know. Uh, how long we'll survive? Especially with self-combustion. I never played it with this uh, defect, but it seems like uh, lots of fun so far. And yeah, burning and burning. Who's shooting at me? Rob your meat, ground circuit board. Ah, uh, fight took it. Let's have a look. No, no. Uh, let's examine this. Sniper rifle, ooh. Cool. Uh, we'll leave the books. Corpse we need. Combustion cell we need. Food. We could probably throw out some apples maybe I don't know meds we have quite a little few of meds but they don't wait anything oh yeah definitely throw that out and um, brr, 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 brr. and great club drop that out and we good we good Who's shooting at me? Somebody from lower. Oh, I can see you. Oh, seat spitting wines. Damn them. Why are you so white? Jilted lever, maybe because of, maybe because you're on a white wall. Mm hmm. Hamelian. Yeah. Hamelian, I say. We need... Oh, we found it. That's the stairs. I was saying, we need to find the stairs up. And we got it. Just want to make sure there's no more loot in here. It's very nice that there's a bunch of water around here, though. You are going to die. Nothing of value. Nothing in here too, so far anyway. Oh man. Yeah, yesterday I tried to... Uh, played around with a... build generating bot on uh, Discord, on the game's Discord. 
and oh, we found something. Microchip. And that was enough to overweight us. Dang it. Let's pour it nearby. Yeah, all of it. And it's not enough either. Ah, oh, it was enough. Cool. Right, I believe this is it. So yeah, uh, I was playing around with a build uh, generating robot and you basically... No, that's the wrong circus. Can enter a bunch of letters, a bunch of words and it's gonna give you a random... Well, not random. It's, uh, it's gonna give you appropriate character to what you entered. So you need to start with A or B which basically determines if you are crook in A or mutant B. And then you choose letters from A to L in a second spot that determines your class. And then there's eight other letters for your stats. Those can be AZ 0 to 9. And yeah, there's a bunch of letters for mutations and whatnot. So you could technically roll a character that is in, that is invalid character in the game. Because yeah, I rolled some really beefy character that you would no way be able to generate uh, normally just because it uh, was so beefy. Almost all stats were like around 20. So I'm just like, yeah, that's not working. And it wasn't. But I did enter Bioshock and it worked. And the run is. Oh, uh, well, has been tested. So I think we have our next uh, character ready if something would happen to this character, Dion, I say. Here we go, we are at the village of Joppa and. Let's go to the mayor, drop the girlfriend body. Anyway. And yeah, I returned from Redrock with the corpse of a pale spiderling. Elder, would you examine it? This is troubling. This is a f as I feared, girlflings. Yeah, there was a rabid black road man among the girlflings? I don't seem to remember any of them in this run, but maybe I just can't re recall. A glow white, no doubt. Those minie maniacal fools worship the Gersh as gods. Ancient demons as old as good itself. Yep, yep, yep. Yada, yada, yada. Perfect, perfect. Live and drink, Elder. What do we got? Open Ostrom Injector, Weird Artifact, Salve Injector, Salve Injector, Salve Injector, what's the Weird Artifact? Ooh, level 11, 4 hit points, 90 skill points, and 1 mutation point. And the quest has been finished. Uh, we're not hungry, let's check that Artifact, Weird Artifact. Examine. Fix its break, good stuff! And... I wonder... Yeah, this is not the run with a bunch of drama caravans around here. Nope. There's one over here though, so good to know. Good to know. Let's go to this guy over here. Oh, actually, we should level up, I guess. We got 330 points to spend and we do have one mutation point 
and multiple legs would give us yeah increased speed let's be faster mm. right so acrobatics uh dual wield mm-hmm ambidexterity right e I could grab Shank as well. Mmm. Not sure which one I want more at the moment. Because I never had Shank. And. Sounds good. I do believe I have um, both hands available. So, uh, let's grab a bit dexterity, maybe. Yeah, let's grab it. And we're good for now. Except we just want to know what we are wearing. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. Sub time. Let's trade. I need some uh, wooden arrows, please. And I got something for you. And great leather cap. And uh, combustion cell uh, I'll keep. I got some guns for you. Iron mace, here it is. Oh, you don't really... Hmm. give me a lot of money for this do you uh-huh this one's better yep uh-huh so many weapons and none of them are very expensive great musket I'll keep these so just so I could disassemble them later on because I cannot disassemble these from what I see so, hold on, yeah, I cannot, so, cool, and a thing in here that I would like to buy, no really, maybe copper, Let's grab it. I'm gonna make our load easier. And I don't think I grabbed the chest. Miscellaneous, no. I don't have a chest on me. Uh, I'll have to do that. Uh, first available opportunity. Let's go to the Dromad Merchant, Caravan. Alright. Hello there. Let's trade. I want your wooden arrows. And I do believe I wear, I'm wearing one. And probably can't afford it anyway. Unless I would sell some books. But don't really feel like... Ooh, Carbide Dagger. Kinda wanted. We'll I have a look at what we got. I'll grab this from you. And let's see what we got. Carbide short sword. And iron short sword. So six eight one d six 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 one d three, and this guy had the carbide dagger, which is six eight one d six. Mm-hmm. I really very much would like one, and I know we would get some of this stuff later on. <sighs> Yeah, I don't really want to buy one. Because I'm sure we'll find some 
Well, now we're Jordanus. Well, this is the end of the episode, anyway. And it was episode 7 of Self-Combusting Freezing Santa Run in Caves of Kid. And I hope you had a good time. I hope you're gonna have a good day. And as always, it was me, Horoporo. I'll catch you next time, guys. Bye.